Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, yeah, I'm changing things up a little bit here. I'm trying out a weekly spread. And you guys can let me know if you like it or not. Um, hopefully I can continue doing these for the rest of November and moving forward. So for your reading today, I'm using the Game of Thrones tarot deck. And we're going to look at a couple things over the next week. First of all, how you see yourself today. Um, the big picture for you this week, a theme for you this week, something that you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember, a challenge, a lesson you are learning, and a gift you will receive. So, just a few different uh, placements there, and let's see what's going on for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising. Please show me Virgo's weekly forecast for... November 12th through the 18th, starting with November 12th, November 12th through the 18th for Virgo, what do I need to know? Please give me six cards for Virgo, November 12th through the 18th, Virgo suns, moons, and risings, Virgo's on the house plus, that's it, we're not doing Venus and Mars, just sun, moon, and rising. 12th through the 18th, please. Whoa. One more for Virgo, please. November 12th through the 18th. Virgo, so how you see yourself today, we have the tower. Shock and surprise. Could be something shaking up your life. Could be going through a separation. May have found some out found out some information. There could be structures in your life, like you know, huge foundations or whatever that are shifting. Something here. Um it can also be the ego, you know, dismantling the ego. So, shock and surprise, possibly separation, possibly finding something out today. Um, going through something major right now is what I'm getting. And um, this um, this definitely is going to have some, some consequences for the rest of the week. or the, It will have a ripple effect. Um... All right, so we're going to look at a theme for you this week. What is the big picture for Virgo? Eight of Cups in reverse. So if you are going through a separation, a theme for you this week is about moving past the disappointment. Okay, so here we have Eight of Cups reverse. This is about not being able to walk away from someone or something. Wanting to, but not being able to. I mean, eventually you come back to them. So, um, it's about, I think, the theme for you this week is about questioning why you'd want to come back. What are some of the reasons why you are wanting to walk away? Um, usually, if we've been disappointed by a situation or if we've gone through a separation, it can be really difficult to sort of uh, draw that line in the sand. So, here I'm seeing that um, a, theme for you this a theme for you this week is to walk away from something that has not been really very emotionally fulfilling for you, um, probably caused a lot of disappointment. You have a lot of memories with this person or the situation that you'd like to hold on to, but you know that you need to move on. Um, so this can also be returning to someone or something that, um, you know, you feel like it's not over yet. You feel like there's still more there. So something that you've already learned that will be useful for you to remember this week, Virgo, is the Magician. Alright, so this is uh, Gemini Virgo energy, specifically Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but as, as, as a lesson uh, or something that you've already learned, um, it's, it's basically saying that, you know, you know you have the skills. You know you can make this happen, 
Um, the universe is telling you it's green light to say yes. Um, you know just what to do at the right time. Okay, you have the finesse, for example. Um, you know how to sweet talk. You know how to charm. You have all the God-given gifts that you need to manifest. So you've already learned how to manifest. You've already learned how to create. Um, this is the power of positive thinking, visualization, um, using your manifestation skills to make something happen that's really positive for you. So you already know how to do this. You can use this uh, energy this week. It will help you. Challenge for you this week is the Two of Spears in reverse. Okay. So this is the Two of Wands in the Tarot. Um, I'm seeing that you can move forward now and you're no longer stuck. You know you have options. You don't have to stay where you are. The problem is that you aren't moving forward. You might have some reluctancy to do that. You might not want to um, explore other options. You might not know where to go. You might be feeling hopeless or directionless or like you don't know what path to take here. So your challenge is definitely to choose, choose something, choose a direction and go. Um, follow your instincts, you know, what inspires you, what, um, what feels good. I always tell people, cast a wide net and you'll get more results. So your challenge is to take those first steps and, and move forward. A lesson you are learning right now, you have the Ace of Coins in reverse. So some of you may have faced a rejection or have lost some money. Um, you may also be learning about how to ground your energy. Um, how to stay focused on a goal, um, how to not squander opportunities, how to seize the day. Um, your learning also may be about timing. When is the right time to, to take action? When is not the right time? Uh, I feel like some of you might be going through a rejection or a separation or possibly some kind of loss monetarily. I don't think it's a big one if it's monetary, if it's uh, financial, but I do think you are learning how to possibly deal with that um, if it is a rejection or a loss of some kind. Um, but you also are learning how to ground yourself and root yourself and, and you know, use the most, um, take advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves to you. A gift you're going to receive this week is the Three of Cups in Reverse. Someone else had this. I think it was cancer, um, but maybe not in the same place, if I'm not mistaken, not in the same uh, location here. So yeah, some of you may be socializing a lot this week. Watch that you don't overdo it, especially when it comes to drinking. A gift you will receive this week could be in the form of uh, finding out who is really your friend and who is not your friend. Understanding who is a gossip and who is a supporter. Um, if you're having some issues, feeling lonely in your friendships or finding the right group of people, I think that you're learning more who is right for you and who is not right for you. Um, who's going to mesh with you and who has no place in, to, you know, in your personal life whatsoever. Um, Sometimes it's better to be alone than to be around people that are not supportive. So you may be learning a little bit about that. Um, you could have some trouble with one or two of your friends. Maybe it's a love triangle. It could be a group of people that you hang out with. The gift that you will receive is enlightenment. And that is that you are a good friend, Virgo, and you know how to support people and be kind and generous and loving. But you also need to find people that can reciprocate your energy. So... You're learning more about how to do that. A gift for you this week is probably going to be understanding who and what um, is supportive in your life and can be a, a true friend. Um, and also, I do feel like some of you could be socializing. Just be careful that you don't overdo it, that you're not drinking and partying uh, to the nth degree, that you take care of yourself as well. And um, another message I have for you, Virgos, is don't wait. Don't wait. Um, take action. 
Um, seize the opportunities that you have. If you can move forward, move forward. Um, don't wait for someone else to call the shots because you already know you've got the magician here. All right, Virgo, good luck with your week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.